Hello and welcome to Thornton 360, I'm Todd Barnes. On this episode, a reminder about the dangers of fireworks, an update on the Thornton Shopping Center and its future, but first we begin with the latest from City Council. Council approved an overall development plan conceptual site plan amendment to establish a landscape tract at 160th Avenue and York Street. This will be done by vacating 2.73 acres of right of way. This was originally platted for a roadway that is no longer needed. An additional recreation trail and open space area for the neighborhood are planned to be constructed. On second reading, Council approved an ordinance that repeals the existing regulations for artificial turf and enacts updated requirements. This will allow artificial turf to be installed up to 25% in front and publicly visible side yards for single-family dwellings. The ordinance requires that the artificial turf is free of PFAS and incorporates updated requirements for buffers, living plant materials, and other installation standards. Also approved the fourth amendment to the 2023 budget. This will appropriate just over $1.1 million in the government capital fund for the next steps in the streetlight acquisition process. This will include a GIS inventory audit, an investment grade audit, a feasibility study, legal consultation, and an Excel Energy required separation study. Funding for the streetlight acquisition plan will come from an unappropriated fund balance in the government capital fund and council passed a resolution designating a council member and an alternate to cast votes on behalf of the city at the Colorado Municipal League and National League of Cities annual business meetings. Council recognized Juneteenth in Thornton. Economic development staff presented the commercial projects quarterly update. This update highlighted commercial development activity in Thornton. And the Thornton Police Department Youth Services Unit was recognized for receiving the 2023 Model Agency Award from the National Association of School Resource Officers. The Youth Services Unit provides support to the youth and their families. To see the entire City Council meeting in high definition, tune to Xfinity Channel 881. You can also watch on demand anytime at thorntonco.tv or by downloading our app from Apple TV or Roku by searching Thornton in your device's app store. The next City Council meeting is Tuesday, July 11th. For more information about that meeting, visit gocot.net slash council meetings. We'd like to remind you that all fireworks are illegal in the city of Thornton. Fireworks can affect you, as well as your family, friends, and property in a number of ways. They can cause injuries, start fires, and damage property. Often overlooked are the effects fireworks can have on people with PTSD, autism, and other conditions that cause sensitivity to sound. Fireworks can also cause stress and anxiety in pets. In Thornton, you can't legally possess, make, store, sell, handle, or use fireworks within city limits. Violations will result in fines starting at $500. So we're asking you, please be thoughtful and not set off fireworks in Thornton neighborhoods this year. Call 911 if you see dangerous or illegal activity. To dispose of fireworks without penalty, bring them to any Thornton fire station through July 10th. To enjoy fireworks in Thornton, join us for our traditional fireworks show on July 4th at the Carpenter Park Fields at 108th and Colorado Boulevard. For more information, visit gocot.net slash July 4 or gocot.net slash fireworks. Thornton's inaugural Pride event was an extraordinary celebration of love, diversity, and inclusion. It matters that they see people like themselves, not just out in the big cities and on TV and in the movies, but in the places that they live. It took place recently at Lou Murray Park. The celebration transformed the park into a vibrant tapestry of rainbow colors and joyful spirits as our community came together to celebrate Pride Month. In the event of critical situations in our community, it's important to receive emergency notifications. Thornton uses Code Red, a hyperlocal notification system. It alerts residents in an emergency, creating instant awareness to potential dangers in our community. But you must sign up for Code Red to receive these notifications. For more information, visit gocot.net slash code red. Some quick city updates for you. Using federal grant funds, Thornton Police Department has installed two automated license plate readers with more on the way. These systems alert the Thornton PD to stolen vehicles and aid in locating suspect vehicles during criminal investigations. The Spring Street Sweeping Program has been completed with 600 curb miles swept and over 100 tons of debris removed. After a testing phase, the e-scooter program is underway. Scooters will be deployed throughout the community within the next two weeks. All tenants in the Thornton Shopping Center are set to be relocated by the end of August, so demolition and renovation can begin. The former Bed Bath & Beyond store at Larkridge will be replaced by a Michaels. 
Get city information and report issues in English and Spanish with the City of Thornton's Text My Gov. Connect via text message. Skip a phone call. Use your mobile phone's text messaging service to quickly report issues and find information on the go. 24-7 Assistance. With smart texting technology, get answers by searching keywords anytime, day or night. Get started today. Text HI to 303-502-TEXT, 303-502-8398. Search topics like trash recycling, building permits, pothole, park maintenance, pay my bill, jobs, and much more. The City of Thornton's Text My Gov, 303-502-TEXT, 303-502-8398. The annual Business Awards and Appreciation event was recently held. I recently spoke with Jenny Leon from Thornton's Economic Development, and here's what she had to tell us about this event. Jenny, this is a great yearly celebration, and it's a chance to recognize our businesses in a fun way, right? Yeah, it is, and what we're really excited about is that we haven't been able to have this event since 2019. And so, uh, you know, we started the process in 2020, and of course that got a uh, change. So we were really excited to be able to do this again this year. So it's a, it's a really great process. It's really fun. And we have a lot of businesses that are nominated and recognized. And we pick six to win the ultimate award at the end. It's my understanding we had about 80 businesses nominated this year. Is that right? Yes, we did. We changed the system this year. Um, we went to popular vote, and so we promoted that on our social media channels and in lots of different avenues throughout the city. It was really great to see all the different, the variety of businesses from really big retail to really small, uh, you know, mom and pop type of shops. That's great. We have lots of businesses here from big to small. There was something kind of unique about all the awards winners this year, right? Yes, the exciting thing about this year and really unique was that all six of our business winners were family owned businesses. And so that was just really exciting for them to see all their hard work over the past several years pay off. And they were well-established businesses too. They've been in the city for quite a while. So that was really great to see them finally get some recognition. That's great, great. C companies with maybe smaller marketing budgets, getting a good recognition, we're all for that. And now let's take a look at some of the winners. We uh, opened up in 2005, so we've been here for 18 years. Thornton was our original location. We do all things sewing, so our, our business is probably 98, 95% sewing uh, related. Um, lots of events, lots of classes. We like to welcome everybody into our stores. We like to create a community of sewers and crafters and quilters. Um, we like to have an active classroom to keep people engaged. We are a full service sewing machine and vacuum dealer. We also teach a lot of different types of sewing classes, including quilting classes. And we just like to kind of have a place for local quilters to, to gather and collect. It is a very small community, but it's a very uh, caring community and a uh, very social community. So, and that's sort of our job or our responsibility is to, to make sure that they have somewhere to come to do their hobby, to love their hobby. It, it, it's very much a relationship business. We are extremely excited to have won this award. We are blessed that we have the customers that we do have. They, they make our job easy. We love coming to work every day and the sewing community. It's such a small niche in the whole scheme of what we do, but it's just a, a wonderful community and our customers are everything to us. Some of our customers are our best friends. You know, they, we, we know about their their grandkids and their kids and it's a very personal intimate hobby so the people that come in here they come in here a lot uh, we get to know them really really well our motto is going above and beyond for you but we always feel like our job starts after we have sold a machine so we feel like selling the sewing machine is the easy part to keeping the customers coming in and engaged and using their machines is what's really important to us 
that's probably the most rewarding part of what we do is just those relationships and, and knowing uh, the people that come in here, we know them by name and they know us by name and um, it just makes things, uh, makes it worth coming to work every day. It is a community of friendship that um, is second to none. I mean, it's just hard to duplicate in other industries, I would imagine. This is our little spot. We really take pride in what we've done here. We bought this place in 2019. So it's me and my wife, Jennifer. She says I'm the grumpy egg, but I don't know. We could, we could, we could switch back and forth on that one. But she's the brains behind this operation. You know, I'm from the Thornton area. So I knew a lot of people, but I didn't know a lot of the customers that came in here. So it was like a growing process with me. But then you see them two, three times a week. You get to know them, they get to know you, you get to know their families. This is home to me. So if I can do anything to help my neighbors, I would definitely do it. We offer a great meal at a great price. You know, you can go other places and you'll see the difference in the price. And sometimes you'll see the difference in the quality of the food too. We really take pride in what we do here. My wife's a QA. You know, if something's coming out and she does not like it, it's gonna get redone. We're in it with our kids, with our parents, and they see my granddaughters at the register. Everybody's working hard. It kind of gives them that home feeling when they walk into a place and they, you know, everyone's happy and friendly and we get cracking jokes and laughing. For me, I think the basis of family, again, is strong. So when you come in here, you see people that you know, you know, you know their family. I've had people that come in here say that they were coming in here with their grandpas, with their dads, with their moms. And to me, man, that's priceless. It's really cool just to, to know the community. My favorite part, going home, no, I get so tired. <laughs> no, I think my favorite part is in the mornings when I get out of my car and I'm walking up to the place. My cook's already here, he's already making the bacon. My lights outside are on. I'm fresh, I'm getting ready to go on with the day. I open the door, I get that, that smell of bacon and donuts and you know, the coffee's brewing. All of that makes me feel good because I know I'm ready to give the customers everything I'm working hard for. You know, uh, for her it was awesome. You know, because she's put a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of heart into it and um, it's, it's, it's great to, to actually know that we're recognized by our community and by our fellows here, so that means that we're doing a good job and we're gonna continue to do that. It's the community that comes in here regularly that makes us feel good. This is what we come to work for every day. We know everyone now that comes in here regularly and we just wanna serve them and make them happy. Seasonal jobs are now open with the City of Thornton. Parks, Mo Crew, Recreation, Golf, Thorn Creek Bar and Grill, and other opportunities await you. So what are you waiting for? Visit GoCOT.net slash jobs for more information and to apply now. Thornton information is literally just a tap away with the new My Thornton app. Just tap the app and you can report dozens of issues directly to Thornton staff. You can also get updates on the issue as it gets resolved. City information, news, restaurants, and more are all at your fingertips. Just visit the App Store for your Android or iPhone and search for Thornton. There you will find the My Thornton app. Download and install the app and you are ready to find information about city events, shopping, news, and you can communicate with City Hall about issues 24-7. Just tap the app. The Healthy Farmers Markets are back in Thornton. Because they are really good pitches. They take place Tuesdays from 9 a.m. to noon at Anythink Library Huron Street and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to noon at Anythink Wright Farms. The markets offer healthy, affordable foods, cooking demonstrations, recipes and nutrition information. Food assistance services such as SNAP and WIC are accepted. For more information, visit gocot.net slash connections. The next tree branch recycling events are July 15th, August 12th, and September 16th. 
They take place from 8 a.m. to noon at Thornton's Infrastructure Maintenance Center, 12450 Washington Street. Thornton residents can drop off branches, limbs, and compostable material. Proof of residency is required. For more information, visit gocot.net slash trash recycling. Thornton's free summer concert series happen every Thursday night. Each event begins at 7 p.m. in various locations around Thornton and feature great music by local bands. On select nights before some of the concerts, you can catch Arts in the Park events. The pre-concert fund features family activities, food trucks, and giveaways. Visit gocot.net slash concerts for more information. And the free Summer Movies in the Park series is also underway. For a schedule of upcoming movies, visit gocot.net slash movies. There's a unique new art show at Thornton's Art Center. The show, titled Food and Cultures, explores the intersection of culinary traditions and artistic expression. It runs through August 25th at the Thornton Arts and Culture Center, and it's curated by the Chicano Humanities and Arts Council. For more information, visit artsthornton.com. And congratulations to, to the Denver Nuggets, who recently won the NBA championship. And Thornton Fire was a part of the celebration. That's it for this edition of Thornton 360. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Until then, you can connect with us on Facebook, Instagram, and Nextdoor.